crazy because when I started coming up with the concept almost, I, can't, I started thinking about it a couple, couple months ago. Like I started like the planning phases of everything. This had been early on in the year. And it's like, I'm, I'm really sitting, you know, kind of being like real modest at this point. I was just, you know, working and just envisioning everything. And I felt like the bunny because I feel like people treat me like that. Like bunnies are so quiet and underestimated, mm -hmm. but don't push me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just feel like I have those capabilities, those concepts, and I just had to be treating myself like, you know, I've liked anime, you know, since I was little and different. You know, I've always loved art. So right. I feel like the bunny was something sweet, something genuine, something that everyone can kind of like, you know, the kids can like. I can make apparel for the children. Right. I can make it sexy for the older women, you know. Right. And then, you know, Philly, we're going we to get you a little, you know, bunny. <laughs> Well, because of the positions I've placed myself in, I think moreover, I was, you know, I was old school this personal assistant. So I've always played the background. I never spoke about my past music experience, my past musical talents. I never spoke about me, you know, enjoying writing, me enjoying English. And it just, it came out of nowhere. It was a shock to everybody. Like actually the first day I was um, shooting my music video for my first song, Monster, I did. And um, Dip had let me wear his chain uh, for that video. That's the day that they signed Jay Sam, actually. So it literally had came out of nowhere. No one from YBS was expecting it. It was like a gift. It's like I went in the studio with Fetty one night in Atlanta, and I just sent the songs over. And in the morning, they just called my phone. Like They were like, Alexis, this is crazy. That's for sure. So, yeah. So, yeah, yo, so, you know. Everybody know you from the background, and now you're yeah. stepping out into the forefront. Yes. You know what I mean? Yo, but I know that you went to college and all that fly mm -hmm. shit. You, what, did you major in English? Um, actually, I did. I minored in English, and I majored in film, video, and theater at Stevenson. I ended up, um, you know, not completing school. I did get pregnant, you know, with my oldest by my um, but that's cool, my ex-husband. No, it's, it's cool. No, but the reason why I said that because your fucking vocabulary is crazy. Like, if Thank nobody you. Hear you. Rap, rap. Like, I heard your freestyles and all that. I heard the joint you did over Meek shit. And you was fucking with Meek down in Atlanta. That's what got you popping. Like, <laughs> really, like, trying to be like, <laughs> no! Oh, uh, oh, my God. Right. First of all, first of all, no, 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 this is, okay, all right, this is when. So. One time, it was like September, October. I was living down there. So after school and Trey passed away, I moved to Atlanta. And I just felt like I needed something new. Baltimore, just for me, it just wasn't it. I was just in a very dark place. I never dealt with death before. I really didn't know how to cope with it. And Scooter and I, it's crazy. We were talking about going to Atlanta in September after you got off probation. So it's like, was that a sign? You know, and I almost feel like it really was because um, everybody came down one weekend. And I did. I started telling them this story because it just like it really inspired me. And Philly now we talked for hours a day. Like we would like we almost did an interview like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. And um everybody came down, school was getting in the studio. Um, you know, Al was there, Snook was there, everybody was kinda like down there, Stokey was down there, and we ended up getting in the um in the studio with me and he just is so humble and so chill. You know, and I've seen it before. We partied oh, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I stay away. Like, I'm not one to be like, hey, look at me. Look, like, I'm here in the building. Like, even when we were in the studio tonight, we were in there for, like, hours, hours, hours on end. Just, he was in there finishing um, DC4, and he was doing On The Regular. Like, On The Regular is one of my favorite songs. And it's like when he says, remember, they said I was done, done. Fuck, they know I'm the one, one. Like, you had to really think about that. Like, a lot of people, like, at times and points in their life, I know for me, a lot of people just feel like I was done. It's like, oh, no, she just fell off. She just whatever. It's like, y'all don't know that I'm really the one. And for me, outside of YBS and affiliation with them, Meek has always been one of my favorite rappers and inspiration for me. So just to see one of my idols in the booth, like, you know, re-recording and messing up and, and really getting into it and really being him, himself as an artist. I feel like sometimes as artists, like, you hold back. Like, it's not cool to make certain facial expressions. Like, it's not cool to say certain things. Like, say what's on your mind. Like, that's the beautiful part about being an artist. You can express yourself, you know, in your true being. So just to see him doing it, it's like, he was looking at me like, why she is speaking to me? Like, like I did something, you know, and it's like, you know, passing the blunt, you know, feeding everybody in the room, just being just 
a real solid person. And it's like, stay down, stay down, you know, till you come up. He definitely is the definition of it. To see his team, you know, he's been rocking with them forever. So, yeah, you know, so loyalty means everything. Shit though, man, for real. I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you. Thank you. That's what's up. So I would hate, I don't want to bring Bring uh, it up, bring it. But bring as far it. as she drags niggas, bring as far it. no, no, this is on some chill shit because yeah. I've had faith, I've had dealt with that before, and it's yeah. definitely yeah. hard experience. This week is um actually my brother's thirty seventh birthday. Shout out wow. to my brother, and I lost God him five you, years man. ago. Wow. So how did when you dealt with it, like if you can tell us some like when you got the news, like was it shocking? I know for me personally, like it was shocking <clears> to <throat> shit. Like I just couldn't believe that they did that. Mm-hmm. Like. And where they did it at, and the time that they leaving did it. from, right? You know? It's like, yo, are you serious? Like, is Baltimore but really this far? But guess what? That's how God works. Because people, it's oftentimes they talk about his lyrics. They talk about what he's talking about. Don't kill the messenger. Don't hate the messenger. Right. Change what the messenger sees. Right. If we listen right. to a lot of people's music here in Baltimore. It, it's a it's a similar message. Mm-hmm. You can't be mad at what he's talking about. He's talking about what's really going on. So we're going to continue to turn a blind eye to it, or we're going to right, you know right. deal with it. Right. So I mean, you know, and then also having an experience with him reading to the students that was really great because the media started pushing that. I was right. really happy that we had set that up for him, you know, to um, read to the students. And it's funny because initially they wanted to do um, a wine and talk radio. With him, and you know, he I knew he wouldn't be interested in that, so I just started talking to her more in conversation. I was like, Well, what else do you do? She's like, I'm a teacher during the day. I said, Well, could school to come read to the students? And she said, Yes, so God's timing is everything. And for me, it was very hurtful, you know. Um, that was just somebody do you go day in and day out spending time with somebody, really seeing them grind and really believing in themselves and really believing in them and being very passionate about what they're doing? It's heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking to tell his mother that news to know that he just wanted to take care of his mother is heartbreaking for people that have invested in him, you know, right. that genuinely care about him that just you lost. Right. Right. You know, so for me, I, I still deal with it daily, daily. And it's almost inhumane for people to say that they don't think about things like that daily. Right. And then, you know, 12 days later for truths to have paid. Right. Right. It's cold. Man. Yeah. You know, so it's like at a point, you know, I started rapping in a booth and that's how Drowning came about. That was my first pretty much almost R&B track, but I really laid it out. Drowning, I literally had to record that line for line because it was such an emotional, like evoking experience. It's a beautiful thing to be in a booth and to have that experience where you're just pouring your heart out and you just, when the tears start to flow and you just start to feel it all over your, you know that you're saying something right. Like when you start to feel your music, you know that you're saying the right thing and Drowning is what really drew a lot of people. And that's crazy you that's... talk about drowning. That joint was on 19Q for real. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? You had that joint. I didn't ask radio. for it. I didn't, I didn't anything. It just, it happened. Like right. they just genuinely loved the record. Right. In spite of, you know, other people not pushing the record, in spite of other people not acknowledging the record, I still overcame the hurdle. I feel like I can overcome, you know, anything. And I know that Scooter and Trey are with me. Yeah, you know, I fast. feel my right, right in yeah. my left side. Like, I, God gave me a gift I can't refuse. Two guardian angels. And it's like, you you have to take it. Right, yeah. right, right. You got to take it. Right. So, yeah. That's, that's mm-hmm. such a good outlook on it. You definitely, mm-hmm. it seems like you used it to kind of push you yeah. to be more determined. Yeah. Um, and people love that record because it was very raw and real emotions were on it. Thank you. But I got to, you know, kind of ask you as a female artist, yes. though. You know, we were talking yeah. about the Remy thing, the Nicki thing, you know. At, don't, he's a Nicki Minaj. So Come on. Oh, 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 I wouldn't get off get the bench and give a bunch of fives. He hurt you. As a female artist and also being from Baltimore, what do you think is... <laughs> You can even take another sip. Yeah. We, we she about to take it. She about to take it there. No, yeah. 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 we can go there. We want you. And we want you to go there. Yeah. And we want you to go there because I'm know. over it. What has, been, <laughs> so what has been the biggest challenge for you, and how have you overcame it? <laughs> Being a female, and then in general, just in the Baltimore whole DMV market as well. My hustle, like you cannot deny my right. hustle. Yeah. hustle. Right. Period. Period. You can't deny my lyrics. You can't deny my vocal. You can't deny my conviction when I'm speaking. Like, dare you to deny it because you're just a hater. Right, right. right. 
I just have, I've had to, it's a mental thing. It's a mental, like I'm very into acupuncture, health, you know, wellness. And it's like, I'm about to start going back to my acupuncturist, but you have to have a sound mind to deal with things in the industry. Like me, when I started, it's like, oh, she don't like me. Oh, she don't like me for no reason. Oh, she this. Oh, she that. Oh, I'm about to shit bricks. Oh, he not fucking with. Excuse my language. Man, we got you. He not dealing with me, you know. He not dealing with me, but you know, he not showing me no love support. Okay, you know, such as like blah, blah, blah. The music will speak for itself. Right. I had to get to that. Right, right. Because they can knock you down. Mm-hmm. Then you got people thinking that I'm doing so much. And I'm yeah. and I'm just like, yo, I haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg. Y'all haven't seen anything. It looked real right. good on the gram. I'm gonna That's keep it crazy. Though. That make me like, feel so good. That shit look real good. Like, it's like every week you got something popping. You dropping more music. You feel me? You had the drowning joint. And you working on new music. But you got the Becky video about to drop. Like, I'm going to drop that joint just... tonight. Becky going to drop tonight. Before we go any further. Yes. Can, go you, ahead. can you give us a what is Becky about? Ooh. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> Becky, that's up loud. No, it's it's a double it's a double meaning because ever since I was a little girl, like I'm from West Baltimore. West Baltimore. I'm from FP with a BP. You know, nanny, you know, what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> then, I was never a product of my environment. I was always white girl. Like people, I played the cello growing up. I, I indulged in the arts. I still play the cello. You know, like I'm about to start my cello lessons back and everything and really incorporate that with my music. But I've always been true to myself, but I have it in me. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So people now that I'm older, they're like, why you talk like that? I've dealt with it my whole life. So it's like I deal with it. But it's like, oh, y'all hoes, they know that Becky about to blow. Like, Becky really about to blow like about to drop a CD she's really mixy like people say like I network with so many people and like how she know all these people you know F her you know but in the midst of you saying all that I'm about to blow like right. there's nothing right. that you can do about it right right so the opening line you know who's that where'd you find her I don't care is talking about why yes because a lot of people are like where did y'all find that girl at like, where does she come from? The whole time from? you've been there the whole time. Right. Like, where <laughs> right. does she come from? Right, right. Who brought you here? You right. know, like, but I don't, you know, like, we like, I life at it. They life at it. I just, you know, go play out the other. You know, who's there talking shit? She wouldn't dare. Like, how dare you talk about me? I right. haven't done anything to you. How right. dare you? Right. No, bitch. You right. know, like, right, right, and right. Becky is so funny because, like, when I was making it in Atlanta with Fetty, I was down in Atlanta for like a week at that point. And this is me when I had, by the time I had moved back to Baltimore and I had went down to go visit. So he was like, all right, I, I got a beat. I'm about to send you so we could work on that tonight. Um, I was like, okay, cool. So I started writing it. And I had been said I wanted to do a, a song with my voice. Like I talk very proper, but then I can, you know, I got it in me. Like, what's up? Like, what's up? Right, right. Like, I would really go You're supposed to have two sides. You go to it. Yeah. Right. Because I can talk the business. Right. Being ratchet all the fucking time. Exactly. That's what people don't realize. Right. We see you busting moves and shit. We don't lose down at the Davey show. We see you slide up in there and shit. Oh, uh, at, oh, at um, Club Downtown. Yeah. Club oh, don't Downtown. talk about Club Downtown. I'm not. I fuck with Club. Oh, I was sipping my tea and madam my business. Can we get a cheers? Oh, you mean my album release party? You mean my album release party? That was. You mean my album release party? Yeah. But see, yeah. Open the gate of all this nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you know that I win. Get off the bench and give a bunch of fives when someone decides to come into your album release party. I see. Yeah. And give a free concert. Yeah. And I walked out gracefully. See, and my manager, she held me down. She Shout out Cleo. Shout out to Cleopatra. Like, yeah. Yeah. like we'll really go there with somebody. She's from the same side of town as me. West. You know, <laughs> she's from where the FP and the BP. <laughs> Found that out. <laughs> no, but it's crazy. Like, how could y'all even try to conspire against me like that? Like, I really worked very hard for that night. Yeah. I really trusted Rico with my night. I trusted Al with my night. You know what I'm saying? I can't even be mad about it. I just have to kill you with my success. Yeah. Right. It's always, at the end of the day, it's about the wave. Like, the wave. we uh, have been talking uh, about uh, this. Like, you never, like, yeah. there's certain stuff you never show up to. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But you show up to that. Right. 
Not one song. Like, okay, Dave want to see you turn up in your city and do shining. Okay, cool. He want to see how your city supports you. I rock with it. Even though, like, he and I, honestly, business-wise, personal-wise, the relationship isn't there anymore, I still respect his music. Certain songs that I really like. Right. Shining, I love Shining. I love that song. Right. So he want to see you turn up in your city. He didn't say give a Only Hope 2 EP and, and Club Downtown Baltimore, and then you do it for free. Like, bro, you don't Exclusive. do nothing for free. Right. 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 You don't do anything for free. Like, And it's like, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not being no, shady. No, you're keeping it a bang. I'm you're keeping, keeping it a bang. Right. Which how a lot you, of people don't do out here. Like, how's my picture? Like, you really tortured yourself because I was already at the 92Q event earlier that day with Davies. Mm -hmm. Davies was already on point with the song Becky. Davies was already on point with everything. Like, he was genuinely willing to celebrate. How can you not genuinely want to celebrate me when we come from, but when we come from the same struggle? The same struggle. When we come from yeah, dealing with the same situation. That's the problem. I didn't ask <laughs> they don't they don't right. they want you doing good but not better than not them without right. shining them. Actually, right. Actually you're a female. Right. 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 But, but that's the crazy thing. The part, but that's the crazy thing. Nobody do good they don't. if they doing good. They right. you gonna overshadow. Yeah, them. don't this do better than me. Yeah. Female on top of her It makes it look better and they don't see that with the business, and that's okay. That's why I have to continue to do what I do. Exactly. Do don't do. stop doing what you're doing. And that doesn't mean that everybody in YBS is involved. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. everybody is involved in that. That's one man that does his own thing. Okay, cool. That's still family. That's still love. But at the end of the day, if I'm going to be successful in the music industry, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be limited to being a personal assistant anymore. Motherfucking when life. I know that I'm better than that. Right. You know what I'm As saying? As you should. And you have one life and you do what you need to do with right. your, yeah. your life. And at the end of the day, I have two kids down, to take care of. He know what talents you have and, and he's pushing you I on. that's why I know that I'm keep okay in you. the way that yes. I've been moving. The exactly. way that I've been moving. Because they ain't want, at the end of the day, they clearly... It's proof in the pudding. They ain't want Scooter to keep it pushing. Because right. at, at the end really of the day, good. they didn't want Scooter to be the next up. And he was but, next up, point blank, period. I'm sorry. He he was the best on YBS. That nigga, man. I'm just he saying, right now, right right then and there, this man had the whole Baltimore. What Meek is to Philly what, what, is what Baltimore was to. I mean, what, what Meek was to Philly is what Scooter was to Baltimore. Like, at the end of the day, that man was definitely holding shit down. And he was... A fucking, he was, he was talented, was yo. Yo was shit. talented. I don't care what Even nobody said. Even down to his involvement with the community. Yeah, he was out here doing beautiful. shit. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. That's why I was mad. Me. I'm it's sorry to cut you off. I was mad when they put. Remember when they did the murals on Monument? Hell yeah. And they had so much to say about him being up there, and I'm like. See, I why didn't the catch that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said a lot. Why would he be up there with um with, um, with yeah, all um, those great those great the blue blue singers? I'm like, yo, do you know what the fuck that man did for this city? And open like, up was a who a lot was of signed, shit. Who was signed before school to die? Nobody. Who was signed nobody. Before nobody. nobody. Who, it was no campaigns before yo dropped then moose dropped. It was no fucking. It wasn't. Campaigns. It wasn't. Niggas wasn't fucking with these it artists. Wasn't. Listen, you had to pay to play as an artist. Now artists are getting paid. Yeah. Now artists are Signed, yeah, the artists are making moves. Yeah, like it was none of that before Shorty, yo. Nah, nah, and then you saw his growth with all the music. Like the first tape, I was like, Yeah, I'm not feeling yo. But that next tape it was like, Oh, shit. I feel like at the end of the day, Moose and Scooter both right. they That's came they Shout came a long way like lyrically yeah. if you listen to the first shit like out the mud you like all right he cool and you listen to this man now yes, sir. it's like god like and he yo, really has came a long way yes, like, he is. what's wild is we and so beautiful about Baltimore like each side got like a king mm -hmm. you know, east side had the motherfucking moose and west side had Scooter right and then, you know they was trying to put them against each other no nope. when they came and in they the streets it's still one of my favorite songs I still so bought like, that on my workout yeah yo they should have brought still I swear, bought it on my workout if, I, if I, my all personal mixtape if they could have one it would be featuring Scooter and Moose and it would be called Fuck the City Up that shit would have took that would have been crazy ass. that would have been crazy we gonna get off of that man that would have been crazy but we, even though so, I was like it's like you know going back to that like with artists and stuff and it's like it's a lot of artists and stuff that pay homage to Scooter you know that it's it's like it's very commendable mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like right. a lot of people don't turn it, turn you know, turn their eye and act like he never existed here in the city. Right. You know, right. so it's honorable. But it's like I want to do it on another level. Right. I want to see. Shine. I want to see live from the A distributed in stores like it's supposed to be distributed. Right. Like, I want right. to see school to memorabilia. I want to see 
a document. I want to see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. just it's certain things that I definitely want to see, and I know it's going to come in time, but I just know for me, like, genuinely from the bottom of my heart, like, he really is a true, true inspiration, you know, for me and the confidence I needed. Scooter, when he died, it gave me the confidence I mm. needed to do this. Right. But right. Trey was a determination. Right. You know, because we come from a similar place. Like, we both had children. You know, he had, you know, baby trues, and, you know, I got my two little guys. So it's right. like, Going through divorce, going through court cases, going through all that, I still stand and I still rise. That's how I know that I'm supposed to be here for something, right. you know, greater and better. So we, I want, I'm going. I'm, I want to touch on this because I had no yeah. idea that you. I mean, I heard it through the grapevine. Hey, but I had no idea that you was married. How the hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> no, how was that? Right. we talk yeah. about these raggedy niggas all the right. time. So right. how the hell was you that? <laughs> how was that? Like it's crazy because I I married my high school sweetheart. And I'll save his name for radio purposes because, <laughs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> um, marriage is a beautiful thing with the right person, right? And the yoke has to be equal. Like, it's almost like someone could need to be filled with. You could have so much love to give, mm -hmm. right? But someone doesn't have enough room to receive it. Mm, appreciate it. Mm, been there. Appreciate it. Or well, got their love, own struggles they're right. dealing with, so don't know how to actually receive it. Or it's so empty, mm -hmm. and they're not able to deposit enough love into you. Right. So, you know, over time, I mean, I've gotten to a much, much, much better place, a much better understanding of why I go through a lot. Why I go through, you know, and I'll boldly say that I've been through a lot. I'll boldly say that with a divorce at the age of 24, it's a risk you take, especially when you have children. Right. There's a thing called a custody battle. One has to lose. I lost. You know what right. I'm saying? And me losing, I can't allow it to deter me. It's been nothing but my motivation. That's why I grind as hard as I do. Right. Because at the end of the day, I have to fight him with paper. Like th that's all the judge cared about was paper. Right. He didn't care about that earlier that year when I came home from Atlanta after beating the charge. I stayed in. A, I came. I literally abruptly came home from Atlanta after I beat that case, and I said, "You know what? I have to fight this. Deal. I have to fight it. I have to attack it. Right. Me fighting and attack it, Alexis. You got to go through it to get to where you're trying to go. Right. I right. had to stay in a group home with my kids. That's all I could give them. Right. This time last year, and look at where I am. Now. Man, right. The struggle look at where I am yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, you stay. Yeah, you gotta stay That's down deep. at the end of the day. And I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna keep it honest and a, yeah. a whole hundred with y'all before yeah. we let you go. Yeah. This Baltimore. Shit is small. Yeah. Heard a lot of shit yeah. about you. I know. Heard a lot of shit about yeah. you. Some and true, I ain't gonna lie. Real, and yeah. I and it's crazy thing, but I told the individual like, you know me, yo. I, I gotta see this shit for myself. It's so crazy because my name is in so many people's mouths. Yes. Right. And if you I don't know, even know. I don't even know. And the crazy thing about it is yo, walking from me. this Jealousy. walking from this interview, I got hella fucking yeah. respect. That's for you. Yeah. I got yeah. hella fucking yeah. respect. Thank you. And I really hope that you go far, yo. Like I really hope that you go far, yo. Because it, it, uh, this this city, for you to go through, I've been through hella shit as my, yeah. myself, and you got to keep fucking yeah. pushing. Yeah. You got to keep yeah, pushing. Sure. And don't let any negative bullshit stand in your fucking way. Yeah. Right. And shout out to anybody that got something to say about Lex Fuck Shout yo. out. <laughs> Shorty going fucking far. You can leave that shit. You can leave that shit. Where is that? Where the fuck right. is that? Because I'm for real. When I told people that, like, I know a few people. When I told, they're like, oh, she did, she did. Say so oh, her, she the was there. Well, no, I'm gonna be honest. Guess what, Becky? Was your, the whole video, Becky. Right. You heard, you heard about, okay, okay, so you went to Newtown, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yo, I can't believe she, where the fuck that come from? I she, want you to tell Idol. And, and when you, the bitches that was mad at me, and when you, and when you, and when you, and when you said the talking like this, like, she fucking proper as shit, and she trying to talk all thuggish now, well, I'm yeah. telling you, you said some crazy wild yeah. shit, yeah. but the crazy thing about it is, bitches say shit about me too, like, she's a fucking hood rat, she trying to act like she can conduct business. Bitch, I'm conducting business and right. doing it well. Right. <laughs> you feel me? I am a fucking bitch. At I am the end a of the day, bitch. I will be the 
first rep in the city to have my nonprofit open. My, I'm, I'm stamping this. My nonprofit is going to be like a mini Baltimore School for the Arts an after school program. These kids can go to uh, anywhere, anytime. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking for the building right now off of Pennsylvania Avenue. And yes, there will be a large mural of school. And if you want any fucking promotion, you need happen. any help you know, with NT Radio, we got exclusive. your fucking name. We got your name. We got your name. And that's real shit. We did. I mean, fucking off with these fucking, I'm serious, show like these. These, this city is not just on the male side of putting motherfuckers down. It be women too, like yeah. putting us down. That's and motherfuckers be having so about. much shit. Oh. People be like, yo, you be going to in you this, you that, yo. I had to get to the point where I didn't give a fuck what anybody had to say or think about me. Right. Because if that's the case, then I'm going to be I, sitting there holding, sorry, holding my shit down. What's up, Jay? We're going to keep it a hundo. We right. got a let's chop Let them know where you can. Wait, let's let everybody let yeah. you know. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. It's cool. Right. No, this interview, I think it, I think it genuinely, I genuinely, genuinely, I'm really glad I came to speak with you all. And yeah, I really appreciate that, you. You know, to beat any stigma stereotypes, most times I often, like, I'm not afraid of the camera. I'm not shy or anything. But there are a lot of things I don't really say that I think, honestly, is it's a time in the age where it's okay to keep it a stack on yes you got you know it. What I'm saying? Ball, uh, so y'all can follow me lex chapo lex chapo on twitter i just made my twitter don't let family follows like i don't even know i hate twitter <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm really trying right i made the facebook page everything is lex chapo two corporate is the album you can find it at rice town plaza you can find it at mon Dolman mall for sale and that's how we and the video. So, and the, the video. video Becky is going to drop. Becky's going to drop tonight. Wanna know why? Wanna know why? Wanna know why? Because I can. I'm shooting another video next week. Guess what? Guess what? This is second hair today. I had on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, and I got on a pink nail. And that's just how we're gonna do it. Okay? That's just Yo, I wanna say I appreciate you coming through. No, for real, I appreciate you coming through and keeping it bad, giving us that fucking exclusive Thank of you. all way 100. Thank you. Keep doing your thing. Thank you gonna go a fucking long ass right. way and stay down and stay humble and never forget where the fuck right. you came from. We gonna be right back. Who we got? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's ladies night. We got another dope ass artist. She's a fucking singer. She's amazing. Stay tuned. Here go our music.